Alright, that guy's down. Uh oh. Here they come. You're still in a bad way. Uh -oh. Here comes the other one. Look out. Got him. Oof. Should really make sure we're actually recording, huh? Yeah, we're definitely recording. Good. That was a bit hectic. This fireball one's really paying for themselves. Ooh, valuables. Nice valuables, too. As well as I can. All right, what else? Various types of magical equipment. You have need of me? Magical potions? Quite a haul, I have to say. If none yep, of I'm gone. Oh, and Emma is ready to level two. Wow, this guy had a bunch of powerful scrolls. Yikes. These are some very well-prepared enemies. Could have gone a lot worse than it actually did. Ooh, and we found some evidence. Definitely something for care to view. Uh, Emma now cannot move. She's carrying things that are way too heavy for her to be lugging around. Oh, too much stuff. We should definitely inspect those scrolls. Something we should start collecting. <coughs> some of these are undoubtedly very valuable. Identifying some of the magical equipment we found. War hammers. All valuable in their own way. One splash of encounters and we're already struggling to find space. Uh, 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 I guess we'll just have Khalid. Oh, potions that aren't very valuable will just drop. M1 is still carrying too much. So I'll give this over. Oh, she has a spare necklace slot now. Because she used up a uh, necklace and missile she had. But it doesn't appear that we have any spare ones, so we'll just have to see what we can dig up eventually. As directed. Somebody had a... yeah, it was Minsk who had something like that. Ooh, a Dispel Magic, that's, that's useful. It's definitely something we should keep on us. More powerful scrolls, what do we do? Hmm. Protection from cold. <laughs> the eternal problem pre presents itself. Uh, oh, hey, she has a lot of missiles that she could put in there. So, yes, anyone can carry light things. Like scrolls. Okay. And let's see, anybody else? In the oh, wait. Oh, we are not wanting to do that. Okay. So it doesn't look like we have anything else that we can get rid of here. Generic robes, not interested in. Valuable rings, really aren't that valuable. All right, I I'll just have Khalid take the scrolls. Do my best. And we should probably take the wand with us too. Uh, here, drink a potion of stone giant strength. Why not? Practically exploding with valuables anyway, what does it matter? Alright, Jahira will summon us up a creature, a nymph to heal us all. Gotta be a little bit more careful of those fireball ones in the future. 
Dark skin on Jahira, I suppose. Vita Mortis Kare. Vita Mortis Okay, and then once more for Minsk. Nature that should be good. Vita Mortis It doesn't actually seem to be any other stairs leading upwards, so I do believe we're on the top floor at this point. As you direct. Let's advance and see what else we can find. Emma's actually ready to level. I am gone. We can do that quickly enough for her. Gaining 8 hit points, 3 lore, and 25 skill points. Pretty decent level up as far as she's concerned. Those are already pretty high. Let's put him to move silently and hide shadows. The one's actually getting pretty tough in her own right. Looking for traps. Nothing. We have found us some powerful scrolls and some evidence. Oh, and actually we did find some evidence earlier. Here, reading the scroll. I have a task for you and those you have selected. You, the first of the faithful, are to stand ground in my stead. Be assured that I would not belittle your devotion with simple guard duty. Chore is a particular interest to me, thus to you. Garrett Leray has become a thorn in my side. I wish it removed. Do so, and you shall please me greatly. Such is your charge. Do not fail in this. From Sarabok. That's pretty straightforward. There's no real need to keep that. Red, I wouldn't dream of refusing. Sarabok obviously has something out for the party. Let's look at this evidence. A letter. <coughs> Father, I received your letter and I can rest assure you that the mercenaries led by Carrot will no longer trouble our operations. I have dealt with them personally. Before dying, they were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as if you have surmised. They were agents of the Zentern. I am also ready to tell you that I cannot attend the meeting at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with a chill in the Black Talons. They have had trouble working with each other, and I am needed there to smooth over any dissension. I am sorry that I will not be at your side. Hmm. Another letter. Realtar, my superiors are intrigued by your proposal. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and Zents have been very active in this region as of late. It would be very unfortunate if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Bruno, and Taldorn were to meet with us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send them a response as soon as possible. Tuth. Now that is some compelling evidence right there. That we're definitely going to want to keep. Hmm. No alignment. Vocalize. Well, are there any spells that we have here that we can actually learn? I don't think so. Have duration? She should learn it if she can. Excellent. It's actually something we should definitely prepare for her in good time. What about hold person? That's an enchantment spell. Lightning bolt? Yeah. Oh, she failed. Oh well. Not a big deal, it's a rather dangerous and unstable spell to begin with. Not, like some, some, not exactly something I like to use very often. Protection from Undead Scroll, that's stackable. Uh, but Emmawin can't go around carrying something like that. Guess we'll just have to give her one of the pieces of evidence. And that'll be that then. Whatever I can do to good as done. Let's see what other evidence we can find in the other rooms on this floor. And this fellow standing here, Thaldor. Uh, hello! Uh, I don't want to <coughs> trouble. What are you doing here? Get out of this building before I call the guards. I can't do that until you answer some questions. You're here to kill me, aren't you? <coughs> you can't kill me! Do you know who I am? I'm Thaldorn, one of the leaders of the Iron Throne. Hmm. 
None of these are particularly pleasant. They all end with a death threat. <coughs> where can we find documents that will implicate your organization for its involvement with the bandit raids and iron shoulders? Tell us or die. Please don't hurt me. You can find everything you need with Realtar. He's the true leader of the operation. He always carries everything on his person. Am I free to go? If you tell us where the leaders of the Iron Throne are located, we might let you go free. The other leaders, Brunus and Realtar, they're at Candlekeep, attending business with some benefactors from the south. Will you let me go now, please? Alright, you're free to go. Care doesn't need to create further bloodshed here. This way. There's already been enough violence. Alright, nothing in there. For the group. What about over here? Oh dear, someone's been murdered this in here. Way. Well, that seems to be the evidence we've found. Interesting enough. It's good as done. What's that? Oh, what should we Just one last double check, uh, making sure we're not missing anything that we should definitely take with us. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I think the Iron Throne's gonna be pretty uh, aware of the fact that we're here after all that hullabaloo. Yes, I think our presence the group. is now uh, <laughs> greatly advertised for the forces that be here. We should go report to Scar immediately and try to leave this place without further trouble. As you direct. Come on, everybody, come over this way. Nature's servant awaits. Gonna walk out as nonchalantly as we can. Do do do. Nothing strange going on. Everything's okay. Don't mind the sounds of all that fighting upstairs. Nothing at all is amiss. Yes, uh -oh. awesome, the flaming fist. Approached by a flaming fist person, Cademon. Well, their friends might have a word. Lex is not here to hurt you. I know you've been attacked at almost every turn, but I am an ally, true and sure. Why should I believe you? No reason to trust me, but you also have no reason not to. Regardless, I am but a messenger. I was told by Scar to keep an eye on you. You seem quite capable of taking care of yourself. In any case, I think you would benefit from a visit with Scar or Duke Eltam. Oh, very well. Oh, we'd better not keep me waiting. I'm quite busy. He awaits her arrival now. Just proceed to the Flaming Fist headquarters in the southwest quadrant. It's pretty much, apparently, whenever we do something of importance, they come back, uh, send a guard, be like, Hey! Go back over there! I know you've been busy doing important things and all, but... Shuffle along, quickly now! For the group. So... That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're intending to do anyway. Before we do that, though, I do want to actually sell off some basic stuff that we don't really need to be lubbering around with us anymore. Ooh, a ring of free action? Edmontar's gift. Given to the reef scavenger, a hunter known only as Edmontar by a group of aquatic elves along with his friends. His help in rooting the pirate queen, Yanandra of Dambreth, was instrumental in their survival. The Yamar Yanandra used to be feared anywhere the water meets land. Where is immune to everything magical or otherwise that affects mobility in any way. That actually could be rather useful under certain circumstances. And she can identify that bond. does not allow the effects of haste, but also stops you from being uh, inhibited by any of the ridiculous movement impending spells there are in this game. As you direct. It's a very powerful item, to say the least. Cool. Alright, let's just sell off some of this crap we found, just so we at least have some inventory space at the very least. Get rid of these friend scrolls. 
So we already have a couple of those spells already prepared. Definitely want to keep that. See if we can learn those other. Alright, same person. Uh, da, 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 da. Bond of the Heavens, undoubtedly useful. See if we can learn these spells. If we even have them. Protection from cold is probably not going to be all that useful. We'll sell that. Alright, now we'll quickly identify all of the things that we have here. Alder plus two, Sir Yusa's Blade. Sir Yusa, white minotaur who traveled the Ozram Mountains in Termish, lived for nothing but the thrill of combat, encouraged warriors to challenge him for his magical weapon, a powerful halberd. Despite his aggressive nature, he was an honorable combatant and never slew in pet opponents he could overpower. Sirius met his superior only once in a battle that lasted hours and had the Minotaur often fearing defeat. The contest ended when his opponent's sword broke, but Sirius knew he would likely have been bested had it continued. He presented his weapon to the astonished man who thereafter told of this noble creature to anyone who would listen. Oh, that's nice. Bracers of Descents, AC7. Just talking about magical bracers, no real story behind them. Let's see what carrot has. And here's something better, and everyone else surely can't make use of that, so that's something to sell. 